Hi guys! Uh, today I will be explaining the second chapter of Robinson Crusoe that is written by Daniel Defoe to you guys. In the last video, in the first chapter, we stopped on saying that Robinson bought a plantation of his own. And now we will start the second chapter named Shipwreck. And you know, I forgot to tell you in the first video that the first chapter's name was Robinson, Robinson Crusoe's Early Adventures. So let's begin. Um, uh, soon, um, the planters of Robinson Crusoe's plantation realized that they needed some more help from people. So they told Robinson that he, he needed to set a voyage to Africa to buy some more slaves to help in the plantation, in the field, whatever. So, uh, so he set a voyage on 1st of September uh, in 1659. Ten, eight, I mean eight straight years from the day he set, a, a set his first voyage. But it was failed somehow. So, so you know, when he set a voyage, he, he took a ship and that ship uh, carried 14 men on board. There was the captain, 12 sailors and Robinson Crusoe. And you know the plan of uh, of the voyage uh, that was set up by the captain was that they will begin the voyage in Sao Salvador and then they will go to another place in Brazil and from there they will head straight I mean directly to um, Africa so that was the plan and you know uh, the the ship she as a ship, she carried, she means the ship, carried some toys um, for the Robinson to trade with the natives of Africa. So, you know, uh, that, that toys, it was, it were, those are toys for the ship. And those toys included beads, knives, scissors, and small mirrors, and etc, etc. And then... They set off the voyage. Their journey began. And then on the 12th day, um, a bad hurricane struck. And then for 10 straight days, the wind was pushing the ship in every direction. Like north and east and west and south, everywhere. And then of the 11th day um, of the hurricane, I mean, it, it had been 11 days since the hurricane struck. So the 11th day from since when the hurricane struck, you know, that's when it happened. You know, the moment, the moment, moment, um, Robinson was expected uh, to be swallowed up by the sea. And you know, two uh, men were washed overboard and one died of tropical fever when this uh, when the winds died down the captain and robinson examined the ship and it had leaked in uh, several places and it had it had been damaged it was no longer in the condition to um, continue their voyage so the captain said that they should re return to brazil but Robinson disagreed because it, it will be closer to go to the uh, British islands in Caribbean Sea. And, um, the, and you know, it might be a lot of safer. He thought it might be a lot of closer, Robinson thought. So it, w it will be a 15 um, or some days sail to there, uh, to that island. So they went. But another, the second hurricane struck and then, you know, it was the condition for the captain and he, he, he said to his crew that they needed to lower the lifeboat, the only they had. And then the crews shouted land, land, because they saw an island that was inhabited by uncivilized savages. 
they thought yes so then they lowered the lifebo uh, lifeboat but you know the the wind and the sea were uh, with all its force the wind and sea uh, pushed in every direction it was no use for the the crew to you know paddle so it was no use and uh, suddenly a 30 feet um wave came like right behind them and you know uh, there there wasn't enough amount of time for for the for everyone to even catch breath to hold it so they can so they can survive but you know it swallowed them up along along with the boat it swallowed all up but you know robinson was a good swimmer he but he couldn't use his swimming at all it was no use because the, the you know the ocean the sea was so strong uh, with all its force it it pushed him in every direction and finally it took him to the shore of that island but you know he was again uh, pushed back uh, by the sea in in the uh, in the sea you know by the water to the sea again and that happened five times and the sixth time he like he like uh, struck his feet on purpose uh, in the sand so he couldn't get washed away but it was no use in the fifth time it wasn't the sixth time the fifth time it uh, came and took took robinson again but uh, but when he was again on the island on the shore he just ran towards uh, i mean he ran in the inland so he couldn't uh, so he will be out of the reaches of the waves and stuff and then you know he saw the uh, he saw their ship stop dead uh, in front of the sandbar it was dashed into it so then robinson was happy that his life has been had been spared but his old crewmates were were dead so then you know what happened he he, he was um, suddenly turned in he was suddenly sad that uh, that he was saved but how can he survive on the island so he stood up and and pounding on his chest pounding his hand on his chest he ran ran on the shore like a madman saying why did you save me god why did you spare me uh, spare my life just just now i have to live in this misery so robinson was uh, angry on the god you can say but then he walked inland to uh, search for um, food and something but then it was um, it was night it was nearly night so he he climbed on a tree and um, and on two strong branches he made him, himself uh, comfortable and thought that how will he be killed the next day it means that all he wanted to do um, all he was thinking that was that how will he survive on this island and he will will he killed will he be killed by the beast or or the savages will come and eat him or something so that's the end of the second chapter uh, for the third chapter see my video see my next video so in the next video we will see what will happen on him on the island Bye.